So, you know, uh, I've been married for five years and I've always been working on startups since a long time, right? Be before I got married. So I've always been really, really busy and I have not been able to spend as much time as I would want with my wife. That is pretty much the case with all entrepreneurs in the Bay Area or working at a high level at any company. And I'm glad you found something that could break that. Yeah, so, so that was my inspiration behind the ice break is can I use technology to affect somebody's life in a meaningful way? And for this case, it was my wife, right? Can I do something? Can I build something that even for a split second will bring a smile to her face? And that really was the core motivation or inspiration behind the ice break. So how do you do that? So what we do is, so, you know, imagine you're watching the show on a weekend, right? The show gets over, you have breakfast, you, you have a busy life, you know, you work during the weekdays and you finally you have some time to spend with your significant other right and now you just get that tired and the, all the words that were flowing that you were thinking oh man, once we get done we'll do this and that you're just tired so now you actually hate seeing each other not not as in hate but that moment is gone so imagine at that point your phone suddenly beeps and reminds you or asks you that what was it that your significant other did that brought a smile to your face, right? And now it's all your old memories from four weeks back when you got a surprise birthday party and you, you did not know about it. You, you came home from work and there were all these people and you had an amazing party at home. You just got reminded of that and now you sit, you're suddenly full of emotions and love for each other and it just made your weekend. That small thing really clicked it and it made your entire weekend. So that's how it works. Uh, I heard you worked at e YouTube, uh, very early employees at YouTube. Did that experience kind of tie into what you're doing now? So yeah, so what, if you look at a very basic level, what the YouTube did is made something that is really complicated, really easy, right? So if you take the whole process of, for example, my mom, she takes my kid out to the park and she can capture a video of the kid playing on the swings upload it to YouTube, share it with me, I can comment on that, right? So it's really complicated and it's really made simple by YouTube. So what we are doing with the icebreak is something similar, right? So relationships are complicated, right? And the, the technology that we are building with the icebreak makes them less complicated. So that's really what we do in the icebreak. Now I'm curious, what did you learn at YouTube? It's such a huge company. We use YouTube every day. What did you really learn from them? So uh, I worked at YouTube since, like, since I was at PayPal a long time ago. And basically what we learned is if you give people meaningful things to do, right? If you really affect the day-to-day -day life of a person, they will love your product, right? The community or the users who use your product are the, is the king. Make, make, give them something that will help them change their lives, make them happy, entertain them, and they'll come back to you. And we really took that approach where, you know, we, we take something complicated and make it really easy for people to use and make it useful. And we ported that to the icebreak, but not for videos, but for relationships. And it, it's working really well for us. Coming up next. It just, I, I really truly feel that food's lose their nutritional value to a certain degree once they, they've traveled too far. 